What is architecture? We like to see architecture as a great adventure into the unknown. It is a speculation about the future of our built environment and we like to see it also as a reference to the past. Um, it speculates on our contemporary situation and it should also reference a vision to the future. Uh, in a way, it's a medium that questions the possibilities that we have today and uh, it should also be a research into materiality, into computation, into special and spatial programs, into the needs of our everyday culture and society. What can architecture do? We want architecture to be an activator, a, a medium that brings people to be involved, uh, that creates a certain attention, that um, causes a reflection on um, our urban environments, uh, consciousness about how we consume, produce or be mobile, how to be uh, responsible for future generations. And also, in a way, architecture should make us happy, it should make us feel comfortable, it should um, create curiosity uh, and uh, explore the potentials of um, how we want to live together, what is the architecture, the aesthetics um, of our current time and how we find the right uh, expressions for that. How do you position yourself in the discourse of architecture? We want to expand the discipline. We would like to push the limits of what is considered architecture. Uh, we don't really make uh, a clear statement if it's art, design, urban planning or architecture, it's usually the scale and also the context uh, that makes the discipline. At the same time, I think we need to understand what is the digital in relationship to the material world, what is the, um, um, the spatial definition of maybe philosophical or uh, political issues, what are um, the research possibilities, how we construct, what are the technological advances um, that we need to incorporate into our architecture and every time should find its own expression of um, how we want to build, how we want to live, what architecture should look like. Mm, can you tell us something about um, your um, time at university, what teachers or architects did you uh, especially like to study with? I think I discovered architecture as a field of investigation when I was around 16 and my parents gave me a book on art in Stuttgart in the 20th century and there was a section on architecture and there was one image of Erich Mendelssohn's Kaufhaus Shopping in Stuttgart that caught my interest. I was interested in sculptures but I wasn't sure on which scale really I wanted to be involved with sculptures. In the end I think architecture is a means to work on larger objects that have um, uh, that overcome somehow the tectonics of architectural thinking versus a more sculptural in inclusive um, envelope idea, um, a skeleton idea of our built environment. And I, I think I saw a certain dynamic and expression in Eric Mendelssohn's building that wanted me to know more about how architecture can be created, how new technologies support an architectural um, project. And so I went to Stuttgart to study, um, also went to Cooper Union in New York for one year to um, expand this kind of solid architecture education I got in Stuttgart with a more artistic uh, view on architecture also. Uh, an education that forces you to understand why you want to choose architecture as a medium to express something. So also questions you very personally on the selection of your medium to talk about something. And then after finishing both schools, I went to Princeton to extend my um, study towards a more conceptual thinking, a more critical thinking, what you can do with this medium architecture as a cultural comment, as a, as a product that actually talks about certain forces at work in our um, socio-political context. Mm, can you tell us something about uh, your design method? Uh, it's a very messy process. Mm -hmm. We look at sites closely and 
discover something that might be special, extract that and make that kind of the guiding uh, principle for the project and everything else falls into that um, initial idea. We also uh, want to express a certain atmosphere and maybe sculptural quality that um, defines our projects. And then we need to bring in all kinds of intelligence from specialists, from the client, from our engineers. Um, it somehow enforces us to innovate all the time to kind of push, we push ourselves to be um, innovative and to um, do research in developing the projects. We want also the client, of course, to challenge us um, and be part as an accomplice um, to share this curiosity about architecture, this um, specific project on a site. Of course, there's a certain knowledge transfer and an, uh, an accumulation of knowledge that we achieve with every project, but this needs to also then be translated into um, other work that's coming in the future.